Hello everyone. In this demonstration, I am going to show you how to do the user setup in D365. In order to set up a user, you have two options available. I'll talk about them briefly in a while. Gabriel Diaz is a customer service representative working under Rene Lowe in the USA region and has recently joined the team. Rene has sent a request to Eugene to create a user for Gabriel in the system so that he can access the system and Rene can add and assign work to him. You use the Microsoft 365 Admin Center to create user accounts for every user who needs access to apps created using Power Apps and Customer Engagement Apps in D365. The user account registers the user with Microsoft Online Services Environment. When you create a user account in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, the system generates a user ID and a temporary password for the user. You have the option to let the service send an email message to the user as clear text. Although the password is temporary, you might consider copying the information to send to the user through a more secure channel, such as from email service that can digitally encrypt the contents. Eugene will have to first click on the settings here and click on the advanced settings. Once clicked on the advanced settings, it will basically land you to a settings page and the settings page for business management. From here, you need to go to security in order to do the setup for users. You can click on users from here. Once you click on the users, it will take you to the users tab. Here you need to click on new to add a new user. In order to add a new user and license them, you need to click on add and license new users. It basically brings you to the Microsoft 365 admin center for where you will have to perform the following steps in order to add the user. This 365 admin center can be accessed directly as well by using this link that is admin.microsoft.com. Now, in order to add user Gabriel Diaz, Eugene has to first click on add user. While adding a user, you need to add the details like first name, last name of the user. The display name is automatically populated based on the first name and the last name. And then you need to select the username for the user. You need to add the user and the system will check for user's availability. You have an option to automatically create a password or you can manually do it. OK, then you also have some other uh, check boxes available. That is basically you want a user to change their password when they first sign in. You want to send password in an email upon completion. You have options to do that. Once you click on next, the system will ask you for the product licenses and the location that you want to select for the user. You want to assign product licenses for, let's say, D365 customer engagement applications for demo trial or uh, digital messaging and on. You select those and you click on next. You have an option to grant a role of an administrator to the user. If not, you can click on next. Once you have done uh, creating, uh, adding all the defining all the details here, you need to click on finish adding and the system will add the user. Once the user is added, you'll get to see the user details created here. The user details are then to be sent to the user via email or they can sent by you directly via some other secure secure channel that you feel. Once you have added the user, the next step is to add a role for the user in the system. In order to assign a role to a user, you need to go to security tab. From there, you need to click on users and once you click on users, you will land on a page where you will see list of all the users and you need to search for a user to which you want to assign a role. In this case, Eugene wants to assign role to Gabriel Diaz. So you'll search for Gabriel and once Gabriel is loaded, Eugene will basically select Gabriel Diaz and click on manage roles. Now, D3 D365 users can access and perform different functions based on the roles that are assigned to them. So for, for example, some of the roles that can be assigned individually or in combination uh, based on the tasks that need to be performed are a basic user. Uh, this is basically required by all users of Omnichannel for customer service. Then you have Omnichannel administrator. This is required for performing administrator task rights. 
uh, also requires the system administrator role to manage user roles and privileges in omni channel for customer service you have uh, customer service representative you have customer service agent or customer service representatives manager right based on the different types of roles that you have uh, you can basically uh, assign it to the user and accordingly the user will be able to access and perform different functions as i said once you have selected the role that you want the user to perform you click on okay and that particular role will be assigned to the user in addition to that you you are also allowed to create your own custom roles in order to create your custom role you need to go to security roles and from there you need to click on new or you can also copy an existing role once you click on new you land onto this page where you have uh, to define the role name and the level of permission that you want to grant to the user so for example under service if you want users to have the permission to uh, do bookable resource category or you want them to access tables related to article article template you basically have an option to do that right once you uh, you do that you have an option to give them access of the type create read write delete append append to and assign and share based on the level of the user and the type of access that you want to grant select that and click on save and close once you click on save and close the different types of level is access uh, the different level of uh, uh, access is granted to the user in this next part i am going to talk about how you can configure agent capacity presence and queues for this you need to go to user section in the omni channel admin center from there you need to select gabriel dias once you select gabriel dias you need to go to omni Cham channel tab where you would see capacity default presence and if you want to add users to an existing queue you can do that as well in this next part i am going to talk about how you can configure app profile manager which is necessary to define agent experience in order to do so you first need to navigate to the maker portal which is make.powerapps.com once you navigate to the maker portal you land onto its home page which is this once you land onto the home page the first thing that you need to do is you need to ensure that your omni channel environment is selected once that is done you need to go to the left pane and click on apps once you click on apps you see omni channel for customer service here you need to click on these three dots to load the app profile manager you need to click on app profile manager and you will be redirected to the app profile manager home screen once you come to the app profile manager home screen go to the app profiles and you will see different app profiles listed here here you need to open omni channel for customer service default profile once you click on omni channel for customer service default profile you will see a interface where you would be able to assign users for this app profile so you need to click on assign users and once this pop up comes in click on ok once you click on ok you will be uh, having a user interface loaded where you would be able to add existing user click on existing add existing user and you will see an option to add Gabriel Deas to this uh, app profile. Click on Gabriel Deas and click on add to add Gabriel Deas to this profile. And now you can see Gabriel Deas is added. With this, I end this demo. Thank you.